Hi, my name is Luke Walker, and I'm with the Yubico Developer Program. And I'm going to give a brief overview of how to integrate with the UB Enterprise Delivery API. For this talk, if you want to use the Address Validation API, the Inventory Management API, the Shipments API, or the Products API, you've come to the right place. Before we get into the API details, I want to talk to you about why this is so important to us. Yubico's mission is to make strong authentication easy and available to everyone. As remote work has increased recently, many organizations have scrambled to deploy strong authentication across their large remote workforce. One of the pain points has been the logistics of delivering devices to their employees all over the world. In the past, IT organizations would need to spin up staff, buy a bulk set of YubiKeys, and then ship them out to the individuals across the, the globe. But today, many organizations have integrated with the UB Enterprise Delivery API into their existing IT service catalog systems to automate and scale the delivery of strong authentication. An organization will typically have a service catalog where users can procure hardware and software. Uh, and then behind the scenes, the UB Enterprise Delivery Service handles all of the inventory management, the address validation, the shipment requests, tracking the shipments, and, and generating reports, and delivering of the keys to the user. D and the typical user experience, they'll add their keys to the cart, maybe put in their delivery address, uh, check the tracking of the status, and then receive their YubiKey shortly thereafter. From your organization's perspective, you can validate that those addresses are deliverable, and then submit those uh, shipping requests to the UB Enterprise Delivery API. The API will tell you if an address is deliverable, it'll process those shipment requests and deliver the keys to the user. Now let's take a look at the shipment request lifecycle. Before a shipment request can be made, your organization needs a purchase order, set up admin access to the console, and generating an API key. Your organization may implement uh, policies such as manager approval, uh, a number of keys that a, a user is limited to, etc. before sending the shipment to the API. When the API receives a shipment request, it goes into the awaiting validation state. In about 15 minutes or so, it will verify that the address is deliverable and if everything looks good, it'll move to the accepted for fulfillment state. If not, it'll move to an incomplete state. At 1600 hours UTC, all the requests on the queue will begin processing. The package will be handed to the carrier and then transition to the ship state. At this point, you can see who the carrier is and get the tracking link. The shipment request will move to the delivered state when the carrier drops off the package at the location. Let's look at how to validate a shipping address. The validate address endpoint will respond with a 200, meaning that the address is deliverable, or 400, meaning that it, the address is undeliverable. If the address is undeliverable, there's a details list describing the error. To create a shipment request, we'll call the shipment's exact resource. The, we'll pass in the recipient, the address, the delivery type lets you select standard shipping or expedited shipping. The product ID is the key that they've selected. The inventory product ID identifies the subscription tier you'd like the key to be taken from. In the response, you'll see a, a shipment ID. You may want to associate this with your user's order in your IT service catalog system. If there's a problem with the shipment request, you can inspect the shipment messages for more details. In order to tell where the shipment is in the shipment request lifecycle, you can look at the shipment state ID. And in the console, you can see that the status moves from awaiting validation to accepted for fulfillment, then shipped in transit to delivered. You can update or cancel shipment requests. Updating a shipment request is very similar to creating one. You'll just need to specify the shipment ID in the URL. Note that shipment requests are only editable 
until 1600 hours UTC when processing begins. You can also cancel a shipment request by calling a delete on the shipment's exact resource with the shipment ID. Again, this is only until 1600 hours UTC. You can check on the status of shipment requests. You may want to list a user's orders and you can get all these details by calling get on the shipment's exact resource. You can get the tracking link when it's in the shipped state. You can also display what date it was delivered. Now let's see what this means for you. Now you understand the life cycle of a shipment request. You can use the APIs to validate addresses, create, update, delete, and track shipments, and integrate YubiKey delivery into your IT flows to scale as your organization grows. And if you need assistance with your API integration, Professional Services provides consulting and workshops that can be focused on technical integrations, deployment strategies, or both. So reach out to your customer success representative to learn more.